The U.S. Treasury Department on Monday sanctioned three senior North Korean officials for alleged human rights abuses. The Office of Foreign Assets Control designated North Korean State Sec Security Minister Jong Kyung Tak, ideological watchdog Chloe Ryong Hei, and propaganda director Pak Kwang Ho under 2016 financial sanctions penalizing Kim Jong Un's regime. The three officials are now banned from the U.S. financial system and can no longer access assets under U.S. jurisdiction. American officials and residents are prohibited from any transactions with them. As if that's going to make any difference, considering that most people, if you went up and asked them about these three people, would probably have no idea who they are, but that is the common sense of our elected officials. I find it kind of comical that back in June, a lot of people, um, including myself, gave Trump credit because we said, oh, he's meeting with Kim Jong-un and we'd rather have a meeting instead of a war and all that good stuff. But when you have officials or people who are in positions of power, the, you know, those who will have considerable more influence than, let's say, the random North Korean, uh, and they're, getting come, can't, they're being confronted by your Treasury Department I think it's counterproductive to an overall effort to ease relations, um, which have always been tense up to this point anyhow. So it's kind of, I, I see this as them basically having taken a step forward back in June and then now taking a step back. Maybe not a full step, but a half a step or a fifth of a step. Because if he thinks, um, and I don't, you know, we obviously have the part about Mnuchin, but he's he's Trump's lapdog. And we, we all know that, his, 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 his baby boy in glasses. So if they believe doing this won't have some negative influence on any upcoming meetings or attempts to put out a treaty, they're foolish. Um, and I've said before the U.S. government is ran by fools, but I, I keep remembering that, wait a second, we're, we have an ideological um, subterfuge in, in Trump's cabinet, which by that I mean Trump himself might actually want peace with North Korea, even though I, I by his public statements I could kind of go, eh, but... When I think about his national security advisor purposely trying to blow up the summit before it happened, facing no repercussions, and admitting that he wanted regime change in both North Korea and Iran, I am convinced that maybe they're just going off of uh, day after day as opposed to a long-term strategy. And when you have someone of such a high-ranking level being able to influence efforts, uh, to go one way when they want to go the other way, it, it, it leads to this kind of chaos. So this is another really strange, weird thing done by the, the current branch of the federal government, the people who are presently in charge, and I look forward to them uh, leaving. And I do not believe these will make North Korea want to do any, any more business with us than they did before.